Hey, what's up guys? I'm Elvis with 2i Fishing. Today we're going to be covering the best knot out there that you can possibly tie. I learned it from a pro. I'm sharing it with you guys. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. It's pretty simple. So you're going to put your line through the loop or the hook, just like so. You're going to take that line. This is now your tag end. You're going to put your tag end back through the loop of the hook, but you're not going to pull it all the way through. You're going to pull it through just enough to create a loop on the other side. So you got a loop like this. So you got your tag in, your main line on one side, and then you got a loop that you create on the other. Now you're going to take them, take them like this. You're going to hold with your thumb and your index finger. You're going to hold your loop that you created, and you're going to twist now. I typically do like, I try to stay around six times, six twists with the hook, and then you create a hole at the bottom, at the top of your hook. You can feel, you can see the hole in your line that you've created. And you push it, push that loop hole. You push the loop that you've created through the bottom of that hole. And you're going to cinch it down. But before you fully cinch it down, you're going to want to wet the line. So after you wet it, you'll be able to pull it down. You want to wet it nice, really good. So when you cinch it down, there's no friction. And then you cinch it down nice and hard. Sometimes you got to pull on the main line, and then you got to pull on the tag line to make sure it's cinched down all the way. So you're left with the loop on one part coming out of the bottom and then you're left with the tag end and the main line here. So you're going to have to trim the tag end and the loop off. So I'll tag off, I'll trim off the loop here. I'll leave just a little bit and off so in the event this line, the knot slips to tighten it all, to tighten down more, there's enough for it to finish slipping through. little bit at the top as well and this knot right here is going to be hands down the strongest knot that you can use. There's reasons why this knot is so special. Uh, everywhere that this line touches it doesn't just have one line going through it's got two. So in every friction point in this knot has two different lines going through instead of one. So you've got almost twice the strength uh, of your line with this knot. Hope you guys were able to see how I tied that knot and you can effectively do it yourself and you guys get good at tying that on the water like I did. The tensile strength on that knot is through the roof because of those two lines running through it. I give the shout out to Gerald Swindle for sharing that knot with me. Uh, he actually shared it with everybody a few years back in uh, YouTube videos. That's where I got it from. So th that was absolutely huge for me in the past few years of fishing because it, it eliminated all these other knots I was trying. I consistently used that knot all the time. I didn't have any break-offs. I've never had that knot break one time on me. So I've had zero break-offs with that knot in years. I, I've gotten effective at it. It's very quick. It takes a few seconds to tie when you're out there on the water. Very simple. He, he was able to go to the Berkeley factory a few years back. He shared in his video anyways. He was able to go to the Berkeley factory, test that knot and the tensile strength against Berkeley and their guys in the lab code said, we're supposedly, you know, the experts and whatnot of knots. And well, he tested his knot out. That knot, which he called like the double shindo, messing around on one of his videos, because it doesn't really have a knot. So I call it the G-Man knot. But he tested that knot against the Berkeley guys, and their tensile strength on that knot was like 95%, while his knot was like 99.4 or 99.5 tensile strength. So that knot is freaking lights out. I'll tag Gerald Swindle's video in the description below. So you guys can go check out that video and where I learned it from as well. Um, it's it's freaking lights out and I hope it helps you guys on the water. So thanks for watching Too High Fishing. Catch you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Upcoming content, turn your notifications on so you guys know that that stuff's coming out. Requests or anything, feedback, don't hesitate put it in the comments below so I know what I need to improve on or what I can share with you guys next time. Again, thanks for watching. Stay hyped, stay fishing. I'll catch you guys next time.